All right, just out for a nice hike in the hills. We had a nice bit of fresh snow last night. Every single rabbit snare I got is snowed in, so <laughs> I'm heading around digging those out. Had a whole lot of fresh snow and just came up to this spot. And it would appear that Mr. Moose is up ahead of me. Since this is all fresh snowfall from last night, <laughs> he's doing a little claw dragon there. Anyways, got my hiking stick because she's pretty slick up here today with all the ice underneath the snow. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on hiking now and maybe we'll see some more cool tracks I can show you guys. Well, I'm further up ahead now. Still looks like I'm hot on this guy's tracks. I think it's so cool now that uh, Christmas time is over. As soon as Christmas comes and goes and the hunting season closes down, all the moose show up. It's amazing. <laughs> like, you can go from hiking everywhere out here and hardly finding any... Uh, any trails or any sign unless you go way up in the hills and then as soon as Christmas comes and goes they're everywhere so I've seen them now out behind my house at nighttime sometimes and uh, like I said we got these nice big big fresh tracks and yeah it's really nice too that now that the rutting season's over I don't really gotta worry about them too much <laughs> you know I'm all animals have a personality. They're just like people, right? So it doesn't mean you might not meet one that's a bit of a jerk, but uh, for the most part, when the rut's over, uh... the moose are fairly nice. Anytime I walk up on them, I just kind of look at them slowly back up and start heading on my way. <laughs> so I've had no problems yet. Keep my fingers crossed. And like I said, uh, when the rut's going on, I don't really go way up in the hills. I just do my typical 30 40 minute hike up the hills. Yeah, beautiful day. I've almost slipped so many times. I'm so glad I brought my hiking stick here. And I'm super stoked to tell you guys I finally officially got my gun license in the mail. So this spring I'll be able to uh, put my name in for a draw for a moose license. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a big deal and very exciting for me. Besides that, what's new in my life? Uh, no work. <laughs> there is literally no work out here. So I'm kind of running out of resources. But luckily for me, I have a lot of friends and connections back in Alberta. Work's going on out there. We don't have to deal with a lot of union BS out there. So uh, if that's the way she goes, that's the way she goes. And I guess I'll be heading up to Alberta in the spring work there for a year and then come back here once I load up the old bank account <laughs> yeah I'm just really glad I got good friends close friends are always uh, you know willing to help you out as long as you're a good hard worker right <laughs> I don't think too many lazy people are getting the hand up but anyways yeah we're almost to my little hunting shack tilt now so that's about it all right, I made it to my rabbit camp, Camp Big Birch, and that is a big birch. <laughs> uh, I can't even get my arms around that. <laughs> so here's my little spot. And I'm sure you guys are wondering like, uh, hey man, what happened? Did you get lazy and you uh, stopped working on your spot? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> uh, we have uh, permits for cords of wood. so. Once your cords of wood run out, you can't cut any more wood. Well, you could, but I don't really want to deal with any type of fines or anything. So now for 2017, I got my new wood permit, which allows me to cut cords again. And uh, that gives me the allowance to, you know, cut a bit of wood, put towards this. But if I had all my cords cut and stored at my house, and then for some weird odd reason, they <laughs> came up here and seen me cutting wood for this it would still count as cutting excess wood so yeah big finds and no fun oh there's a little squirrel going crazy over there <laughs> but anyways the moose traveled right up here right down the trail I take it he's probably gone up the hill made it up to my camp all oh, my rabbit snares are snowed in every single one so yeah, I'm gonna finish digging those out and head back down the hill. 
uh, before I leave, I just want to show you guys. I'm, I'm sure some people are like, oh my god, yeah, that's a tree. Wow, that's so cool. Not. But to me, this is amazing. This big, big birch. And up near the top, there's all these big mushrooms and stuff growing on the branches. But it's still super healthy. And uh, I've been hearing a lot about chaga over the years, and I've never been able to find it. And I've looked around quite a bit. I'm not sure if this is one developing here. <laughs> I can see some orangish kind of coming out of it. It's like a big notch, but I'm not too sure. Either way, I've heard a lot of great things about chaga. And as anyone who knows me knows, I'm a bit of a, I wouldn't say hippie, but you know. I'm down for uh, things that are good for you, is all I'm going to say. Things that are good for you, natural medicines, a lot of that stuff. So yeah, that's one hell of a big birch when you can't get your arms around it. Anyways, big birch. <laughs> Gonna head up the hill a little bit more and then head back down. Alright, so I'm quite a bit further up the hill now. I don't think I've ever brought you guys this far up, but just looking and uh, more moose tracks, of course, fairly fresh. A lot of cool looking trees. That's some that's a pretty thick piece of white wood right there. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, deep snow for these moose. I like the way this stuff looks. It's so cool. Grows up and along the trees. Pretty neat. But yeah, further up the hill. And more moose tracks. <laughs> awesome. I love seeing that. Love it, love it, love it. Let's me know that not too many got shot in our area this year. <laughs> I know a couple of people got them, but they definitely didn't get them all. Then I'd like to see that. All right, well, I think this is about as far up as I'm going today. Moose tracks still all the way up here. Going in that way, going in that way. Here's another massive, beautiful tree. One thing that does irritate me a little bit here is uh, I'm like one of the only people who ever comes up here. <laughs> and uh, between last winter and this winter, some dickweed must have came up here. Probably some snowmobiler or something looking for a good spot to cut wood. And, you know, he couldn't help himself but to come and make a few big cuts on this beautiful big tree. But as we all know, there's no shortage of idiots out there, so as long as we have nine good people and one idiot, those are good odds. And I know most of the people in this area are really good people, really smart people, and uh, yeah. Not really sure what the purpose of that one was, but uh, <laughs> yeah, cheers to you. You win the dumbass award of the year, whoever did that cut. But yeah, <laughs> this is a sick tree. Try to get my arms around it. I think I'm crazy. That is a big piece of wood though. Oh my god. Beautiful. Alright, I got some boughs down on the snow. Got a couple little piles of tinder. And a little bit of birch bark with some old man's beard. I'm gonna see if I can get a fire going for you guys. So, I got back from my hike, brought my dog out for a little hike and chased the ball in the bay. Now I've done everything I'm going to do for the day, I think I'm going to relax now, crack a beer and watch people race back and forth in the bay in their snowmobiles. And before I do that, I'll show you guys my prized house plants. This is my aloe vera plant. As you can see, I use it for a lot of things. It's my rosemary plant. That is about 
two years old, finally just starting to grow now. <laughs> and this over here is a wild mint plant. A wild Newfoundland mint plant. When I first dug this out of the ground and brought it indoors, it used to die every winter and come back in the spring. Now this is the third year I've had it and it doesn't go into hibernation anymore. So I guess you can say it went from being wild to tamed. <laughs> and I use this for a whole lot of different stuff too. So pretty much the only house plants I have are usable ones. <laughs> Oh yeah, you want to get on camera, don't you? Nice kitty. Nice kitty. And here's a dwarf tomato plant I started. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Anyways, that's about it. Sorry if you found this video a little boring, but I just figured I'd give you guys some content instead of disappearing for a few months like I usually do. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Crack a beer for me. Cheers. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and if for some odd reason you enjoyed it, I want you to give that like button a good karate chop and just watcha! And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe! And here's a meme from me to you. Cheers!